the Logos library acts like a digital bookshelf housing all of your Logos resources. You can easily browse and manage your library with just a few clicks. Quickly filter by author, subject and more to get to write resources fast. To access your Logos library, open the library menu by clicking the icon from the toolbar or click, hold and drag the panel to a desired location for a larger view. The menu is designed to help you find the resource you need either by entering information into the search bar like the name of the author you are looking for or by using the library filter options located in the left hand pane. This menu allows you to quickly sort and search through thousands of resources using information like author, subject, type or publisher. Do you want to find all the New Testament commentaries written by a particular author? Select Bible NT from the subject menu, then Bible commentary from the type menu. Then scroll down and make your author selection. It's that easy. To remove your library filters, select the X beside the filter you wish to remove, or click All to remove all filters. Let's look at another example and start by selecting Lexicon from the Type options, then select Hebrew Language from the Subject menu. You're now looking at all of the Hebrew lexicons in this Logos library. You can run a similar process to find all of your English Bibles. Start by clearing the library filters, then select Bible from the Type section, then scroll down to the Language options and choose English. To prioritise a resource that Logos will look there first, open the library panel menu from the top right, then scroll down and select Prioritise. This window allows you to drag and drop your resources to customise the way Logos searches your library. Whenever you click on a Bible link, Logos will open the reference in your prioritised version. It's a good idea to prioritise your favourite texts for different resource types like commentaries, lexicons, dictionaries and so forth. Prioritising resources allows you to customise a vast library and tell Logos where you want to look first. In a similar way, you can remove the resources that you don't use. And this will free up hard drive space and improve your Logos experience. Removing resources from your local digital library will store re your resource in the Logos cloud and can be added again at any point that you have internet access. You'll notice that the filter menu includes a section labelled Reading Status, which tells you how many Logos resources you actively use. You can use this filter to sort through unused resources and then right click the resource title to open the options menu and choose to remove the resource from this device. Once the resource has been moved, a, a download option will appear and this will allow you to add the resource back to your hard drive. The library filter menu will even allow you to browse the resources on a particular device or the ones you've stored in the cloud. Navigate hundreds, even thousands of resources in seconds. Browse your library by author, subject and more and find the right text for your study. The library also provides a quick and easy way to find Logos resources of interest that you do not currently own. To do this, click the Store button at the top right of the window. You can sort these resources by author, title or rating with rating showing how other Logos users have rated the resource. As in the previous view, you can use the faceted browser to focus on a particular area of interest. Click a resource to get to a preview screen with the opportunity to purchase it. Click the Add to Cart button to add it to your shopping cart. This opens up the cart in your browser, giving you the opportunity to review your selection and place your order. Note that while the app provides the ability to add a resource to your shopping cart, anything further, such as changing payment options or setting up payment plans, need to be done in your browser on the Logos website. And this provides a very easy way to add resources you need to aid you in your study.